Hello and welcome to this domestic hack video where I'm going to show you how with a very simple shortcut you can save time, you can save money and not use any chemicals at all to ensure that carpet moth just can't occur in your carpets because you're going to deny them the dander and the skin that they feed off and make their horrible mess as they eat through your pride and joy your carpet. First, some biology. Here's the life cycle of the carpet moth. As you can see, it lays its eggs in the carpet, but look at the larval state. Between two and 30 months, that's two and a half years, existing in your carpet and eating it before it cocoons and becomes an, an adult. Here is the carpet moth larvae eating part of a carpet. Once it's eaten all the way through, there's only the threads left and the shell cases are left behind as telltales. These two solutions will not work. The cat won't scare them away. And polishing the carpet with the back of the cat won't work either. If larvae have got into your carpet, you may need specialist advice. That might include the use of products such as pyrethrum spray insecticide or pheromone glue traps. But chemicals are toxic and can be harmful if used in the wrong way in your home. To deny the moth larvae food, deep cleaning on an annual basis is essential. But how do you penetrate the angle between carpet and skirting board, baseboards and creases in the carpet, between the stair tread and the stair riser? And here is the solution. You would think that a Dyson cleaner with all its attachments would keep carpet moth at bay. And yes, you can keep the surface of your carpet clean and you might be able to get some of the fluff out the creases, but you won't get at those bits that the carpet moth feeds on. The skin, the dander and the rubbish that there is hidden in the creases of the carpet on the stairs and at the side of the carpet near the wall and the skirting board. So all I'm going to use to thoroughly finish the clean is an ordinary knife and a packet of wipes. So there you have it, the finishing touch to your deep clean. You're ensuring that in the creases where the carpet moth likes to lay its eggs, there is no food and no dust for the larvae to hatch out. You'll ensure that these chaps don't munch through your Axminster and your Pride and Joy Persian rug. Thanks very much for watching. I hope this video will help. All the best and see you soon.